Hey everyone, I'm here with a haul from scrapbook.com. I uh, went out there and purchased during the um, National Scrapbooking Weekend. I got the scrapbook.com dotted adhesive roller for free. It's a refillable and I've never actually tried their adhesive so we will see how that works. They also sent um, for a free item this Gemini um, by Crafters Companion stamp and die and if you look at it it kind of does this design on the sides you can either cut it out as a whole you can do it on the edge or you can just stamp it so that's kind of fun and it's free so we'll see how that goes they also sent some more information about uh, Echo Park and some sales that they've got and then um, they're always looking for cards for kindness so pretty cool I have wanted to get this so bad and they finally I saw that they had this out and this is the sweet rush de the detail stamps and this is just so fun that looks like a paint swab right there and then I love the little um, the, the tabs right there and this is just so my jam right now I love it and so you can put these little things on there but this would be really fun to just use and you could use that probably with any layout so I got that stamp and then um, I got part of the Obed Marshall um, Especial. This is uh, their puffy stickers, not puffy stickers, they're thickers with all the expressions. And I love this. I love it, I love it, I love it. So I'm excited to use this part of my um, bu uh, Buenos Dias and my um, other collection that I have. I'll just combine it with that, but it's just so fun and I love the details and I love the words in Spanish so I will use that for my trip in my album that I use with the Obed Marshall stuff but I also picked up the 6x8 paper pad of the Especial. I didn't want to get the whole paper pad because I have so much of the other one. I'm going backwards. Let me just do it this way. So very, very fun. It's almost like retro. Look at the TV and like the film. You don't have like cameras and film anymore. The sunset. Um, look at the TV. <laughs> I don't know if kids would know what a TV was if they saw an old like box TV. The tags are fun. This is single sided as you see. This is like an ombre effect of the words. The popcorn. It's probably one of my favorite snacks of all time you got this and this has actually gold foiling to it if you can see but I think this will just fit right in I like the film the flowers hola hello tiempo felices imagina just so pretty um I love it very fun oh I like this the way this looks more gold foiling there and then there's the photo the camera and the film some yellow and pink polka dots geometric shapes this is fun and then the zigzag stripes and then you got some stars which are nice and then we start back over so you already have 36 sheets so 18 of one design and then the rest you get double so very fun um i also got so i saw these and i was like i don't ever look at paper house papers but look how gorgeous this blue paper is and that's a fun stripe. I really wish I would have got two, but I just love this. I think it's so, so pretty. I don't even know which one I'll choose, but this is um, Paper House. And then I saw, um, here's another one, but I got it for this side. Look how pretty that is. The yellow and the blue and how it mixes the colors. It's just so pretty. Um, I got that and then I got this one to kind of go with it with the sand because what a beautiful beach paper again paper house products and this one it's got like the little beach scene with like the water um, but I really really like it for this although that goes really well together I don't even know and then um, I saw since when I was looking at paper house I saw this cute cute little winter kind of themed paper and I liked the borders just 
the little pink ones. It's so cute. And then I had this snowflakes, but I really got it for this side. And then they had um, the three by four cut aparts to go with it. And I thought um, this, this is so cute. Like this snowman is upside down. And um, yeah, so I picked that up. And then also from Paper House, they had this beautiful like pastel painting kind of looking paper. And I just thought it was so gorgeous. So I picked that up. And then here's one like in the purple, the lavender color, and then these pretty flowers. But I think I would really use it for the lavender to kind of go with that. And then, and what really inspired me is these Easter layouts are so cute. Like the real, I typically don't like the real looking stuff, but this is just, this is so cute. And this is what I think of when I think of Easter, of like those type of Easter bunnies and the colors were so pretty, just the carrots, everything about this is just so gorgeous. And I really liked this plaid too. So I got two pieces of these this specific paper so I could use both sides. And then here's the last paper house paper I got. I don't know if you can see this, but it's like an ombre effect of raindrops. Just gorgeous. And then they have um, these cut aparts. Now that I look at this, I thought I really wanted it for these cut aparts, but this is so cute. I just, I would probably use this one instead. Now, um, so that's like the miscellaneous paper stuff that I had got. Uh, and then I also received, not received, I got this. I got their 12 by 12 50 pack of their, uh, their page protectors. And I absolutely love scrapbook.com's um, albums and their page protectors. They are awesome. And while I was at my retreat, I had used the page protectors in my album and I had got some other ones from Hobby Lobby. I am a huge fan of Hobby Lobby, but their page protectors are nothing like this. So if you want a good page protector, definitely check out scrapbook.com and see if you like that one. Um, now this collection that I'm about to show you is called Date in the Life. And I had seen it maybe once and I was like, oh, that's nice. And I just kind of forgot about it. Then I saw someone do a haul on it and I'm like, that collection is gorgeous. So I went and picked it up and I'm trying to think about planning for next year with my planner. And the formats really just don't match what I want to do for planning. So, um... What I'm thinking about doing is actually making my happy planner out of this stuff. Um, so sorry that sun is just coming in right there. But here is the, um, let me pause this and try to fix this lighting real quick. Okay, maybe that's a little bit better. So this is the January page and I just think it's so pretty. And then when I, um, here's the back side of this. It's just so gorgeous. Here's the February one. And the color palette is just so fun. So when I put my, this planner together, I will have to do a share with you to just kind of show you how I'm going to use this. Because I really don't know what I'm going to do. But I'm going to just kind of plan it out and play around with it and figure it out. But I just think it's so pretty and I could do a lot with this. So here's for April. And the flowers are really pretty. And then here's for May. And that's equally as pretty. And then I just, I just love it. I just love the whole thing. Here is June. So pretty. And then you got the back right there. Here is July. It's just very, very planner to me. This is really pretty. I wish I would have got another sheet of that to kind of incorporate this together, but it's okay. This is August. September. October. And I love that this planner is not, I mean, this layout is not like, okay, October's pumpkins. December 
November is like fall colors. They just stay with the same theme colors, and I really, really like that, and I can appreciate that. I love these little tacks. And then here's December. And then the back. And then here are the stickers to go with it. And I just think it would be just perfect. I mean, everything is very plannery uh, kind of feel. So this is Day in the Life um, by Echo Park. And this is not like part of their warehouse sales. I Although I just saw that they had the little six by six paper pad. So I will probably get that next time they have a warehouse sale. And if it's available, I will snag that up. But yeah, so this is the Day in the Life by Echo Park. And yeah, this is my haul from scrapbook.com. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Um, and catch me on the next video. Have a great day.